Hey guys, so in the last video, I just introduced you guys to Django signals and how those can actually uh, save us a lot of time and make our project more dynamic. So if you haven't watched that video, I'd highly recommend you check that out before you get to this one if you don't understand signals yet. So what I'm gonna do now is actually just go ahead and remove this process here. So when a user registers right now, our form gets submitted, so on a registration page, and we also create a uh, customer here. So in the last video we used profile, but now we're gonna revert back to customer. So what we wanna do now is actually take out this logic and allow our signals to handle all of that. And we also wanna remove this group logic here too. So we want a user to now have a group and a customer on create. So what we're gonna do here is within our accounts project, let's go ahead and create a file called signals.py. So I just wanna make sure I spelled that right. And we're gonna go ahead and write all of our logic within here. So within signals, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste some imports because you should be familiar with these if you watched the last video. But we're gonna import the post save method and we're also gonna import the user. And from models, we're gonna import uh, the customer. So from models, import customer. So now what we're gonna do is create a function called create customer profile. So actually we'll just do define customer and we'll just do underscore profile. So this will just be responsible for creating a new profile and I'm gonna pass in the sender, the instance, the create method. And again, we're not gonna work on the update method. This is just gonna be the create method. I'm trying to simplify this one part and we're just gonna do star star quarks. So I just wanna make sure I spell that right. And now let's just do this. So if created, let's go ahead and write our logic. So from here, if we look at this, we want to first get our group so automatically when a customer registers, we're gonna get that customer group. So we can remove that. And user.groups.add. So the user is gonna be the instance. So let's just do the instance.groups.add. And now for the customer, we need to create the customer. So we can just go ahead and remove all that. And I think so far so good here. So. Let's go ahead and put this down here. And I don't wanna put that in twice. I just happened to copy it because I was deleting it. And let's make sure our indentation is right here. So we'll go ahead and just back this up. So customer.objects.create and the user is gonna be the instance and instance.username. So that should take care of it. And we're gonna use that post save.connect method. So I don't really care to use the receivers at this point. Uh, post save or yeah post save and this for some reason makes more sense to me than using those receivers um, dot connect and we'll do this on we'll actually pass in the customer profile and let's go ahead and make the sender be the user so I'm gonna go ahead and review my views here so the users passed in and the signal is called so this function will run and it should add our user to a group and create one. So I'm doing this on the fly. So let's go ahead and see how everything's working. So let's go ahead and register a new user and we will call this user uh, David. I don't think I've used that. And we'll just do david at gmail.com and give David a password. Let's go ahead and verify that password. And I think I'm supposed to print something out. I wanna make sure I have that. So Let's go ahead and print customer was created or profile created. So I wanna be able to see this profile, can't spell here. <laughs> so profile created and let's go ahead and save that. And now if I register this user, there we go. Did that run or not? Let's see, let's save that. Uh, looks like for some reason, oh, it wasn't connected because I completely forgot about that apps config file. So if we go to apps right here, we need to go ahead and override that ready method. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and write that out here. So define ready and we'll pass it in self and we'll do import. In this case, we're doing accounts. So our app name is accounts dot 
signals. And based on what I talked about in the last video, because of the way I set up my apps file here, let's actually refer to the configs file here. So let's do accounts dot apps dot and then whatever this config file was again i talked about this in the last video but for some reason this gives us a uh, just doesn't connect the signal so let's just go ahead and run that full import and if i go ahead and check this out it looks like it's still good and there was a few things that i missed here in the signals.py file which is importing this group model here so we're we're adding the user to the group right here so we need to reference that and this needs to be created actually because that will give us an error and we have our print method and let's go ahead and give that a test now with david one here let's actually go ahead and call this david one and create the email david one at gmail and go ahead and confirm the password and there we go so profile was created perfect so that's exactly what we needed. And if I log in as the super user in the admin panel, we'll probably notice that profile. I just wanna make sure everything was created. So if I go to customers, uh, there we go, David one connected to that customer. And also David was also connected to that group too, I think. So we need to make sure that that was done. And that would be in our user. So David as the user, not the customer. Let's go back here to users, if we check out David one here, go down to users, there we go, David is now a customer. So we went ahead and removed all that logic from our view now and sent that to signal. So if I actually created another user from the admin panel, I wouldn't have to rewrite that logic in because I have signals listening to that. So the senders and receivers are communicating and that's the beauty of using signal. So that's it for this video in the next video, I'm actually gonna cover sending emails. So we'll actually create some kind of contact form and then we'll follow up with that one. Kind of like what we did here where I will create a password reset method where a user, if they forgot their password, can type in their email and the password will be sent to them or their link will be sent and they can go ahead and resend that. So make sure you subscribe and thanks for following along with this series.